Hello everybody, today I'm here with the Disney Heroes Battle Mode Update 3.2 patch notes and today we're getting Shigo from Kim Possible. And then they're also adding hero filters which I will touch on a little bit but if you want to go more in depth with any of the information I have here you can check the patch notes out yourself. So first let's look at Shigo. Now where I thought uh, whom, uh, Ron looked pretty much exactly how I would have pictured him if I were to imagine him in this style. I think she looks a little different than how I would have uh, typically imagined her, which isn't bad at all. I think she actually looks pretty great. And Shigo was the character I wanted from Kim Possible the most. I mean, obviously Kim Possible is going to be the first one, but then I wanted Shigo next. And I'm happy that they finally added her. Um, and I said this in the round video, and I guess I'll say it again. I don't think they would add another character after Shigo. And I could be wrong. Um, but my plan, I think, is to do a Kim Possible team video right after I'm able to get Shigo, and I guess Ron as well, um, and then just do the four of them, and it'll be my first four character, uh, team video, and then that can open the door for teams like Aladdin or a Lilo and Stitch or something, so that should be exciting, but yeah, I think they really did nail her outfit. Uh, and her face is pretty great too. Uh, I, sometimes they don't do great with the faces. I think they did a pretty great job for Shigo. I feel like her hair looks a little off uh, from this specific uh, angle, but I'm sure it'll like sway back and forth in her animation and it'll be fine. Um, and yeah, that green flame is pretty cool. Uh, I guess she could have worked for my fire team um, if I had known in advance, but uh, I don't believe we've done the green team yet, so we can put her on there as well. So I'm, I'm just thinking about teams right now, but yeah, I'm just excited in general for Shigo. Like I said, she was my most wanted one from Kim Possible, and it's pretty great that we've gotten her now. She's a damage character, and she will be in the diamond crate, so hopefully on Tuesday I can get her. I have quite a lot of diamond crates. If I'm not able to get her from there, then um, I can try to get her from the black market, I suppose. So let's go through her skills. The Plasma Beam. She goes shoot, she go blasts a Plasma Beam through enemies, dealing damage to each enemy. Very straightforward. One of the shortest skill um, explanations I've ever seen. Then the Energy Ball. She go lobs two balls of green plasma at the farthest enemy, dealing damage with each hit and applying shatter. So she does have the shatter ability. That's my job. When Shigo reaches a percent of her max HP, she flies into a rage, increasing her attack speed and healing herself each time she damages a shattered enemy. The attack speed buff is increased per shattered enemy. So shattering is really important to her, and then she also heals. Um, she heals every time she attacks a shattered character with this specific skill. Um, so that's a really nice addition. And I always enjoy healing things. It is healing herself only, but it'll still be very helpful, I'm sure, in, a, in the midst of a battle. The evil intentions. Every few basic attacks, she go apply shatter to enemies she damages. Uh, so you have just more shattering, I suppose. Then finally, evil sidekick. Plasma beam damages enemies more times. When an enemy has shatter applied to them, she go gains a shield. So I probably won't get her to red, but her red skill does sound pretty nice as well to give her both a shield. Uh, in addition to how she heals. Uh, and then her friendships are going to be with Kim Possible and Kronk. And uh, I don't know. Kim and her were pretty best frenemies. So that'll be fun to see them interact in game. And then Kronk is very obvious. They are both uh, sidekicks to the main villain. And um, I'm sure that'll be fun to, to listen to, not listen to, to read through their dialogues as well. I'm sure they'll have a lot to say about Draken and Yzma. So uh, now we have to take a look at the hero filters, and I'll just read off everything that I think is uh, interesting. We're excited, to, or very excited, to announce the launch of hero filters, which allow you to easily filter your hero collection to find the right heroes for your job. Hero filters can be ac accessed by using the filter button on the heroes and choose your hero screens, and uh, you can do a general filter, which I think we already had, uh, but now we can look at the effects and the stats. Um, and it shows you specifically who has those different stats and everything. Um, and you can also search 
I'm not sure if, yeah, so you just, I'm looking at this picture here, I won't have it on screen, but they literally just typed in Rex, and then the Rex shows up. So that's much more convenient than scrolling through your list of heroes to try and like level one specific one up. I feel like this probably should have been a thing from the beginning, but um, anyways, you can also, um, I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyways, um, it's just a very necessary thing that it's weird that we've gotten to 3.2 and still haven't, or are just now getting it. Um, and the nice thing about this is that, you know, I've been interested in trying to do team videos on uh, SAS effects like I did the, what was it? I, I guess it was the freeze team, I suppose. Um, I, I think so, and I don't, I, I don't always know which characters have each of these things. It's kind of hard to go through them and find the specific ones. Um, so now that I'm able to do this specifically, I can see which teams are viable and which, it'll just make for a much easier experience in that sense. So potentially a bunch of different teams based on effects could uh, easily be, be made thanks to this. So that's what I'm most interested in with this but also it's just like, it's very nice to just be able to search for the character you want to uh, work on. So uh, there are some other improvements and bug fixes. You can read those if you'd like. Uh, finally, the new hero locations and content adjustments. Shigo and the Diamond Crates. Russell and Kevin are going to the Elite Campaign. And it is going to be a full app update uh, for Tuesday, July 6th. And saying it's a full app update means there is potentially more data mine characters. We already know of two data mine characters. If you want to hear my thoughts on them, I talked about them in the bronze patch notes. Um, so potentially we could get more data mine characters. I'm honestly not expecting it. If we do get any more, it probably wouldn't be another two, but who knows? It's very possible we could get more than two. It's very possible we see no one. So uh, don't get your hopes up, I would say, but it'll be very exciting if we hear about some new heroes uh, in any data mines. Um, so yeah, final thoughts on Shigo. I, I am very happy that they added her. I can't see them adding any more Kim Possible characters, but I could easily be proven wrong. Um, all my videos predicting Kim Possible characters, um, I think I both had Ron and Shigo in them. So I got both my wishes slash predictions correct, uh, but they're also very obvious. Like these are the four main characters and now they're here. So uh, very exciting. I know a lot of people love Shigo and I can't wait to see how she is in game. So I will see you on Tuesday when I unlock her. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.